Well, James Humphrey, a very good uh, second day of the uh, Bud Simpson Open. Yep, yep. Things are running super smoothly, and uh, we've had fantastic weather, and everybody's been having really good matches. Yeah, and the top seeds are to the semis tomorrow. and. Uh, yep, Carson Haskins and, and uh, uh, Chris, Chris Ortega, Ortega yeah. and then uh, Mason, our number three seed, is through. So mm -hmm. it's going to be some really good semifinals in the men's open tomorrow morning. Tomorrow right. morning, 9 o'clock, the yeah. year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Overall, it's a lot of good players and some uh, up-and-coming kids and yeah, you know, getting, getting their first taste of the tournament style tennis, I guess. Yeah, well, and then there's a lot of kids that have been playing over the years. Yeah. And uh, they're just getting better and better. Getting to watch players like Laura Moore, who's just, you know, uh -huh. just really becoming a fantastic player. Yeah. And then, uh, like, Dan McCluskey. Mm -hmm. had a fantastic match with the number three seed mm -hmm. and uh, uh, has advanced in the, uh, in the back draw. The consolation draw? Yeah, playing, playing some fantastic tennis. Yeah. Just, it's amazing to watch how uh, these young players get better and better every year. And yeah, considering the uh, legacy that uh, Bud and Andy Simpson left to this area as far as tennis goes, I think this is a, this is a real good tribute to them. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it's... Uh, we're really making a lot of good progress this year mm -hmm. uh, as a as a Simpson Memorial Tennis Program committee. Yeah, and uh, you know we're making strides with the uh, Tennis Center out at Gordon Moore Park. Yeah, and uh, Kathy Claywell is doing a fantastic job mm -hmm. uh, teaching Alton Parks and Rec, and uh -huh. and then we had this middle school program. Mm -hmm. um, we can't really take credit for it, but it's been exciting. Yeah. There's a there's some new crop of middle school kids yeah. that are playing at Alton Middle and. And so um, we're feeling like we're getting more people into the into the tennis pipeline. Yeah, with the uh, with the with the you know, with the success of the uh, high school programs too, you know. And, uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you have to be very very happy with the state of tennis in the Alton area right now. Yeah, well, I mean, we're not. We still feel like there's a lot uh, of room for improvement. Uh, uh -huh. We're thinking about trying to get some of the local coaches together mm -hmm. for kind of a kind of a, like a summit meeting yeah uh, like after the summer and we'll talk about like strategies for teaching the kids because they kind of go from one program to the next right sometimes it, it would be helpful to uh, yeah. kind of organize how we're training them get some consistency consistency in there huh? exactly exactly so uh semifinals and finals in all divisions tomorrow and uh, the weather's looking good for it i know that yeah it sure is um we've got uh and we might even, we're going to have finals tonight uh, uh -huh. for uh, uh, the women's doubles, uh -huh. which will be really, really exciting. Yeah. If anybody can see this in time to come out at 5 o'clock, that women's doubles final is really going to be fantastic. It's uh, Shannon Carney and Cindy Tapscott, uh -huh. and then uh, uh, Callahan, Adams, mm -hmm. and, and Morgan, yeah. uh, who are some really fine players. So that's going to be a fantastic match, too. It'll be a good win to, good way to end finish up today huh? yeah absolutely thanks a lot appreciate it all right thanks for uh, coming out and uh, supporting our, our tournament my pleasure